coming, the blood goes into the right atrium, through the tricuspid valve, into the right ventricle. From the right ventricle, it goes out the pulmonary trunk to the pulmonary arteries to the lungs, right? Mm -hmm. Then it comes back in through the pulmonary veins. It's going to come into the left ventricle. And from the left ventricle, it's going to, excuse me, the left atrium. From the left atrium, it's going to go to the left ventricle. And from the left ventricle, it's going to go out the aorta. Okay? The aorta. And you can feel it. If you stick, stick your blood probe into that tube, and you'll feel it inside the left ventricle. Can you feel it? Feel a bunch of ice. Feel a bunch of ice? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Turning it over to the back of your heart, if you look at the very back of the heart, you'll notice there's kind of a T-shape. You see that? Yeah. That's where the coronary sinus is located. That's the T-shape. Again, in the back, you also have an interventricular sul sulcus. This is a posterior interventricular sulcus in the back. Um, looking up at the top here, this is your aorta here. This is the aorta here. This is actually the brachiocephalic artery coming out here at the top. This is the aorta. Here's the pulmonary trunk coming up. Um, I am not seeing either the superior or inferior vena cava. They have been cut away because the atria are actually open here. They shouldn't be like this. What okay. if all of your vessels are, uh, are cut off? Then you just have to do the best you can. Yeah. So you can see this is the pulmonary trunk here. This is the ascending aorta. It's going to become the aortic arch and go down. And this one sticking straight up here is going to be the brachiocephalic artery, right? Brachiocephalic artery. We're in the back. Um, I'll see if I can find the coronary sinus here for you. I'm not sure that. Yeah. You see right here this flap right here, this thin thing? That's the coronary sinus. That's the big vein that runs in the back that returns blood from the coronary circulation. It's right here. That's the coronary sinus. And then if you look inside, these are the atria. If you look inside the atria, you see that kind of weird muscle here that's sort of folded? Mm -hmm. That's the pectinate muscle. So pectinate muscle is found in the atria, not in the ventricles. Now this one's still kind of closed, so I'm going to open it up in a minute. So now I'm going to turn it back to the front, and I'm actually going to go right down the sides, all the way around. And I can do this for you guys later on. This is very, very sharp. And so I'm taking my time because I don't want to become part of the demonstration. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to flip it open and you're going to see some interesting things. So, just to orient you, can everybody see inside here? Yeah. Okay. So the first thing I want you to notice is this wall. This is that big wall that separates the right and left ventricle and this is called the interventricular septum. You see it? Really big wall. Notice that this is the left side because look how thick the muscle is here compared to over here. You see the difference? Yeah. Really, really thick muscle because this is going to be going off to the um, systemic circulation. On the right side in the ventricle, this is a moderator band. This is that moderator band. It's right here. Do you see it? It's real obvious. Okay. These are the ventricles here, the atria are back here. So if you take a look, let's just take a look at these ventricles first. Take a look in here and you're going to see all of this sort of meaty lattice work appearance. This is the trabeculi carni, trabeculi carni of the muscle. These are the heart strings. You see them, the chordae tendini? So these are chordae tendini. This is the bicuspid valve. Right here, this is the bicuspid valve because it's on the left. This is the bicuspid valve. The tricuspid valve is right up here. This is the tricuspid valve right here. Okay, bicuspid valve is on the left, tricuspid valve is on the right. Uh, let's see if I can, probably can't, but let's see. Now it's been cut away. It's been cut away, that's too bad. If you stick your hand, if you have a lot of atrium left, and if you stick your hand into both sides and kind of feel toward the middle, you can sometimes feel a really thin spot that used to be the foramen of <coughs> But on this one, there's just not enough of the atrium left. 
if I look on the left side, you see we have a lot of atrium left, so we're going to look inside there to see what it looks like. I'm going to open this up some more. And again, here's that pectinate muscle. You see it? So here's the pectinate muscle of the left atrium. Oh, the other thing is, do you see where these chordae tendini are attached? You see how it sort of forms nipples in the muscle? So these are the papillary muscles here that are attaching the chordae tendini to the bottom. Here's another one here, the papilla. See it? Right there. Okay, here's some more of the valve right here. See? See the papillary muscle in the tricuspid valve over on this side? Uh, see if I can show you a semilunar valve. So does anybody have a scissor? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to take this pulmonary trunk and I'm just going to go right down the pulmonary trunk and bisect it. And maybe, maybe we'll be lucky. Oh, we are. Okay. So if you look along the inside of the pulmonary trunk, it's very, very thin. See this little flap right here? Mm -hmm. Those are the semilunar valves. Right here. And you can see that they're going to be, as the blood is flowing up, they're going to be closed. But if the blood fat backs up, then they're going to open up like this. So in this image here, the pulmonary, the semilunar valve is closed. And then when the blood moves up, the pulmonary semilunar valve is open. You see that? Okay. So that's the pulmonary semilunar valve. There's another one inside the aorta. This is the aorta here. I'm not sure if I can show you that one or not. It's right there. That's the aortic semilunar valve. And I think those are all the structures you need to know. So check on your book. Is it? Check in your book and see if that's everything you need to know. I think it is. The ligamentum arteriosum, I, I don't see it here. It's between the um, pulmonary arteries and the um, aortic arch, but the aorta isn't long enough. The aorta needs to be way here before I can see that. So I can see it on anybody. Okay. Anything else? Did we cover all of the heart? Yep. Yes? No? One more time? Yes. All right. One more time starting from the front. Go to the